we're going to be doing a Blade 333 album review. I've done Good Luck album review, and while Good Luck is my favorite album from Blade in terms of the overall like appeal, like sound to the album, I would say 333 is probably my favorite Blade album in a different way, just being like the most influential of Blade's work in my opinion thing about this album art too i'll bring it up is that it just has so many different like little references and it. it's really hard to catch all of them i don't think i've got them all i think i got a lot but not all of them i know there's like a little mcdonald's logo down here which is probably from like working on dying which is another blade album where you can clearly see the uh if i can find it i think there's isn't there a mcdonald logo in here somewhere yeah it's on the cup you can see it on the cup he has you can see a little McDonald logo on the cup that he has, so that's kind of cool. I know there's other references in here too, like obviously 333 is the angel's number and we have an angel in the center of this art. We have balloons, I don't know what exactly they reference, it could be drama, even though drama was released after this, so it's kind of a stretch to say that. Uh, there's a swan over here with a little heart in it, which is kind of cool, in reference to Swan Lake on this project. We have Frosty the Snowman off of Ice Dance. So we have a little DG notebook right here in the corner. And we have a lot of other little references like we have Apples and Listerine from the iconic Apple music video. We have a little Mecha Talk logo down here from Blade Song. And there's just a lot of other little references that are kind of hard to find, but you can find them if you look uh, hard enough on this. The first song is Wings in Motion, which is a a song just kind of talking overall about like, you know, you're in the motion of things, you're just kind of, you know, sometimes you're in like a bad groove, you're not really making anything progressive, and then all of a sudden you'll just hit a better path, and that's kind of what this album does in a large sense. It's a good opener for this album. It's a very pretty song to start out, which will be an indicator of what is to come other than Hundreds, which is just random on this album. Everything else, though, very pretty on this album, and that is what the opening song shows. Next up, the second track, we have Don't Worry, which is one of my favorites on the album, just because it's such a vibe. It's like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. Like, it makes you happy listening to it. And it's really, it's just a happy song. It's kind of a contrast from the first song, which is just a very pretty song. This one's just a happy one. I don't know what it, what's about it. Just a very happy, upbeat song. And around, please don't worry. Please don't worry. Bro, it's just such a, a vibe. I don't know what's about it. I love this song so much. It's just a vibe. And then you got Keys to the City, which is what a lot of people say is their favorite Blade song on this album. But Keys to the City is also good, but I just really love the vibe appeal of Don't Worry. Now, Keys to the City is a very good song to overall represent just the overall culture around Drain Gang and Blade. Keys to the City brings a lot of references to red light it overall it just feels like a, a good song to kind of close that chapter of blade as he progresses into this new sound and keys to the city is just a good bop if you're into bops keys to the city will not let you down it's what a lot of people consider their favorite song on this album and it is a pretty good song this song focuses a lot on just delivering hard bars and large punches and just overall saying Blade is here to stay, and I think that's kind of cool. This song is one of my favorites on the album just because it switches things up, but I do feel that it is dark for this album, compared to a lot of the other songs at least. But then it does go into hundreds, so I guess it kind of makes sense. So it all kind of fits somewhat well here. Even though hundreds, I want to give it like a good pass in this album, but it's really, it's not my favorite song on the project. Hundred is basically just a song about flexing. <laughs> but then, you know, after Hundreds, we go into Mean Girls, which is one of the, the bops of the album. We go back to the bops. Mean Girls is basically about, you know, being in the club with the mean girls and the bad girls. And it's just like one of those bops I think a lot of people can get down with. It's a very danceable song. That's what I would say it is. It doesn't really deliver too many hard bars, but it is a very good bop. Then we get to Innocent of All Things, bro. This is when the album starts bopping. Innocent of All Things, Reality Surf, and Noblest Strive. Like these songs, I say honestly make the album. These are some of the best songs on the project. 
they all go into exactly what this album tries to bring out, which is just overall, you know, finding a new path, you know, trying to go back to like the basics, but building from the basics into something new. And that's what I really like about this project. Blade talks a lot in these songs about overall being depressed, but finding solace through the changes he has been making. And overall, that leads him to a lot better things. And I think these three songs really hit home with that. Reality Surf, the video for it, is really cool. Just because I think he based it off of his home in Sweden. And overall, just trying to, you know, go back to the basics. The next song on the project is It Girl. Basically, Blade is just talking about overall his struggles, trying to fit in with the success that he's been given. And, you know, I think the next song plays in very well to this. It's like, oh, well, play the cards that I'm given. It Girl and Oh Well play very well together. And I think these two songs are also very iconic. Oh Well used to be like one of my most listened to songs uh, on the project. I listened to this like on repeat for at least three hours one day. Uh, just because it's such a, a bop. It really is a nice song. After we go to Oh Well, we get into Valerie, which brings back that darker tone, that red light type of vibe here. And Valerie is one of those songs that I think builds up pretty well for Finder. And Finder, for a, a while, was my favorite song on this project. Until it slowly became Don't Worry, just because it's such a bop. But Finder is one of my favorite songs on this project. A lot of people don't like Finder for some reason. It's like, I think, the second least popular song on this album. But Finder is such a beautiful song. It talks about hitting a barrier, which is, it's, it's honestly what this album is all about. When we go back to Wings in Motion, it talks about being in a dark place and finding a change that overall betters yourself. And Finder is kind of a sequel successor to this, where it talks about, you know, hitting a barrier and breaking through, trying to hit that rainbow. And it really brings, like it ties in well to the next project, which is Good Luck, which has Rainbow Road. And I don't know, it's something about Finder, which is like one of my favorite songs on the project, even though it doesn't really get a lot of talk about it. But Finder is a bop, I will say that. And if you guys enjoy Finder, you will definitely enjoy Extasia, which is just one of these songs that really defines Blade. Obviously, Blade's music has always been kind of, you know, dreamy, atmospheric, and Extasia is basically about that. But then you go into Only One and Swan Lake. Only One is just the complete pinnacle of beauty on this album. Obviously, it ends with Swan Lake as a nice closer, but both of these songs kind of tie in pretty well together. It's just kind of a, a pretty ending to this album. Overall, Blade333, what are your guys' thoughts? Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you all for the next one. Should I review more? I know these videos are kind of cringy, because I just say every song is good without really giving too much uh, into it, but that's kind of just my thoughts on it. I'll see you for the next one, and peace.